I just got in the very first 45 release from Ron and the Hip Tones. <laughs> If you've been following this channel at all, you'll know that I got a chance back in 2023 to work a little bit with Ron and the Hip Tones and tell a little bit of Ron Aiken's story, which is absolutely amazing. And I really encourage you to check out that video. It's, a, it's actually a three-part video that I have on the channel here, on this playlist that you can check out right here. But it goes into Ron's entire story about why he's basically been delayed until 2024 for this. And so we're gonna open this today right here on screen. I'm very excited for this. I'm very excited for Max Ochester, the producer of this, and everybody that was involved in making this. And I even sorta of had a little bit of a hand involved in something with this, and we'll get to that in a little bit later. I've been holding off on making this just to share this with everybody here. The 45 has actually been released. You can go to the group's band camp. I'm gonna to link to everything below. So if you're interested in getting your hands on this, which you absolutely should, the links will be in the description below. There are promo copies on the Bandcamp. There's also, I think the pink version might be sold out, but there is definitely the original black versions as well. And also you can get the digital versions and then you can also stay tuned for things when the full LP drops in the future. What's really great is Max Ochester, who is the founder of Brewery Town Records and who is the producer of these records that are getting made. He is also a huge, huge historian and lover of all things of the music scene in Philadelphia. And so what's really awesome is he was able to get United Image, who is the group that Ron was originally signed with Stax Records back in the 70s with, to come to the first gig for Ron and the Hip Tones. And so I was able to go backstage with them and kind of like be a fly on the wall and kind of see this little bit of a reunion between these guys. They had not seen each other for almost 50 years at this point. And so it's really cool. So we're gonna check that out here and I hope you enjoy that. It's pretty awesome you guys are even here tonight. And it's pretty awesome that you guys even helped Ron the way that you did after what happened. Take us back to the night that you guys found out that Ron was going inside, or that, or basically, you guys, so you guys had a gig that night. Yeah. So take us back, take us back to that night. What, what, what was going on? Yeah, was Where was the gig? Do you remember? Yeah, Gene, where was that? We were in Germantown. Yes. I think it was like 71st in Ogantz. It was called Ciro's. And uh, we got there. Got set up, and we waited, and we waited. I'm getting nervous now. I know these guys were affected because they're all part of that front line. Yeah, hey, I forgot what they did. I forgot which, where we were. Mm -hmm. Who is where you remember? So you find out that your buddy's not showing up, and then what, what was your initial thought? Did you initially think that he just abandoned you, or did you happen to know that maybe something was going down? <laughs> it's kind of worry, I guess, because. Normally everybody's there, you know, normally Ronnie would be there. And he lived for it, so he lived for it, and him, him being missing it. Yeah, Ronnie was the, was the lead singer. It, it was a big deal if Ron wasn't going to show up that night. Did we do the show? Oh, yeah. we did the show. Yeah, yeah, we did the show. Did the show. Did the show. And who sang lead? I probably me. Okay. We probably threw Ronnie in more leads because Ronnie couldn't dance. He had three left feet. <laughs> That's what he said. But I do remember when he didn't show up, Jackie had to be the one to probably, probably tell us. And he was the manager? He was the man, Jack Allen. Okay. Yeah. He was a, he was a sales yeah. production guy yeah. from uh, WDAS. Right. Right. So he was in sales right. and he was also I mean, I was the manager, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. At the time, yeah. yeah. But I do remember <clears throat> after, um, after it happened, and I don't know, I remember talking to Ronnie. I was pissed with him. I said, man, how can you do that, man? He was just quiet, he was saying. So, uh, then we moved on. When did you guys get the letter from Ron in prison to come I to... I Jackie got that. Jack I Allen. never seen it. Jack Allen from WDS. Yeah, Jack Allen is the one that handled all that, because I never seen him, letter. 
And so he 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 got this letter and then basically turned to you guys and did he tell you that Ron's inside and he wants you to come and support him and, and come and play at this talent show? Yeah, that's well, yeah, that's what happened. With, I mean, Jack explained things later, but as far as the, the way everything got set up, I personally, I didn't have no clue. How many months later would you say between that, that night at Ciro's and when you went in to this... Uh, you know, I don't have no recollection. So probably a couple months, I would think. It may have been. Yeah, it was it had to be some months. Where, was there any like hesitation to go and play at a prison or to go into a prison? No, nothing like that. Well, actually, we had did a few other prison shows before that. I know we did Muncie. That was the women's prison. That was wild. <laughs> <laughs> and I would have been. That was wild, man. <laughs> and and, and I, I think that, that at that time, certain groups were, were getting used to going to certain facilities and uh, supporting acts that were, that particularly if they were musicians. You know, Philadelphia is a big jazz town. Sure. And, and, and in that sense, there's a camaraderie, of, uh, you know, of, around mm -hmm. musicians and and then you had the South Philly thing with the doo -wop. So I think it wasn't too unusual to go to different facilities and support guys that got, in, also, got into things. Yeah. We were young, you make mistakes, and uh, we you realize later on we're all gonna mature and change and realize the mistakes. And, and uh, I think that was just part of growing up. Mm -hmm. From him being able to do that performance, he was able to talk with Ted Wing, the activities director of Graterford, and then, like, I mean, that that changes his trajectory while he's in there for that time. It's good that good things came from it, but we did it to support him. Yeah, you know, yeah. that's why we went. Sure. Yeah. So yeah. I'm glad the good good came from. There he is. There he is. No. He's been Remember they had these hats? Yeah. That's why I brought this hat. <laughs> really? <laughs> Bush wanted to know if you remember the song that they sang, that you came up and sang with them at Greater. I, I made up a song, but I didn't know what it was. What was it? It was either um, Exception to the Rule or... Um, the Dells. The Dells. Love I Had Love I Had I thought it was Exception to the Rule. Really? It was one and two. I, don't know. I thought it was exception to the rule. It might have been exception to the rule or the love we had says in my mind. I think it was that. I think it was that. The love we had says in my mind. Yeah, it was on that. Yeah, but either one. We were singing it too. Yeah. But they used to kick that out. But I it didn't did. believe yeah. that he would do that. He called me up and let me sing a song after such a. Yeah, it terrible. make you look like a star, boy. You did it. <laughs> and you did it. You did it because the jail yeah. turned completely I with just, me. Hey, I man, just said, matter of fact, I remember, yeah. hey, I remember your boy was hollering for yeah, yeah, he, yeah, yeah, he, 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 he was real. He was real. He was real. He wasn't lying. Yeah, yeah, you started was singing this. Yeah, man. This now they ain't going to kick his ass. If we find out you lie. That's right. Thank you guys so much for coming, for supporting Ron, oh, and man. for even taking the time to talk to, oh, to me today. Um, I really appreciate it. So, And thanks for watching the videos. I heard you guys watch the videos, so that's awesome too. Oh, hey. And you definitely need to go watch the story for Ron and the Hip Tones to be able to know how important United Image is to that story and how supportive it was for them back in the 70s with Ron and even 50 years later to come and see him perform with Ron and the Hip Tones. So this is a very, very awesome thing. All right, let's open up this record. I'm extremely, extremely excited about this one. And like I said, I've been holding it off for you guys so that you can see me open it as well. So we're gonna get right into it here. Got the trusty Swiss champ. First of all, <laughs> Max is great about these things. They have little QR codes on them. Let's see where these QR codes lead us. This is for a digital version of Tear on My Chin, which is the 45 that we have here. This is the Tear on My Chin. He included like 10 of these for me, which is great. I love these little things. I love all the little trinkets that come with band stuff. Soul Adelphia. There's another one here. This one's pretty awesome too. Soul Adelphia. Let's see where this one leads. These are great ideas too because it's able to like get your stuff right out there, right to people. And this one leads to a playlist 
on Spotify called Philadelphia, where you've got Tear on My Chin, People, Shame, Why I Love You from The Ultimates, Bobby Bennett. You should definitely check out this, this little QR code here. Maybe I'll see if I can link to it. I'll definitely link to it here, but it's basically a playlist on Spotify of the entire Brewery Town Records singles and things like that. There's so many great things in here like Ghetto Children. York Street Hustle is also on there. They're a local band that's also in Rod and the Hip Tones. Very, very cool. We got a little personal thank you here. Thank you for believing in this project. Of course, Max. Dude, of course I believe, man. Of course I believe. I will always believe in this project and everyone out there should believe in this project. This is this is one of the best projects out there in Philly right now. So here it is. Finally got the records. Let's see what we got here. By the way, just to put this out there as a disclaimer, I bought these records myself to support Max and Ron and the Hip Tones. So I went on to Brewery Town Records and I went and bought, actually I think I bought it on their Bandcamp like the day that it was announced, but I went and got this 45 here, which I'm so excited to be holding right now. I bought two of them. So I've actually got two of them here. And I want to give one away on the channel here. So stay tuned for how I'm going to figure out how to do that. But um, I am extremely excited about this as you should be as well. So I'm gonna give one of these away to, to somebody lucky out there, especially because there were only 200 of these ones made, but let's get into this here. So here we are. This is Tear On My Chin, the first official 45 release from Ron and the Hip Tones, and it is backed with People, featuring Ursula Rucker. Ursula Rucker is an awesome poet who has been featured on a lot of Roots records and things of that nature, but she is very, very great. You should definitely go look her up. And she was a guest artist on this. I was sitting in the sessions when she came in to record this. So that's another reason why I'm so excited about this. I've never gotten to be this close to a record before. Like this is like the closest thing that I've ever gotten to making a vinyl record. Even though I actually am a musician and I've recorded some stuff before, I was recording stuff back in the mid 2000s when like making vinyl Vinyl was like almost never even thought of being done. So I kind of missed out on the boat of getting my own stuff pressed. So I'm very, very happy about this. Another really awesome thing here, help take that picture. I took the photo here. Now I didn't, uh, this is kind of like edited from Max Guy here, but it's really great. We actually brought a bunch of people to Max's old uh, shop, Brewery Town Records, which unfortunately had to close. But we brought a bunch of people there, including like Ron's family and Max's family. Max's kids are in the picture. So it's really great. Great. And what's really awesome is this picture is inspired by the record cover from Hugh, I'm gonna destroy his name, Hugh Masakella. Um, there's an awesome record cover. All these people were in the shot with him. I'll put the record cover up here so you can see what I'm talking about and see how much I butchered that name. When Brewery Town Records releases their 45s, like they've done things with the Ultimates and um, Winfield Parker and all these different records that they've put out, when they put them out, they put out a picture sleeve and color version for the first 200 copies. And then after that, they put out the black color version. So this is a really awesome picture sleeve version. And it actually is a little bit larger than just your regular old picture sleeve. So we're gonna open this up here a little bit. We have this awesome picture. You can see that there. And this is just so cool, man. It's so classy. Such a really nice way of delivering a 45. Rather than just having like, sometimes people just do like a single picture sleeve. I think this is a really, really great way to give you something. And I love the fact that there's kind of two different pictures, one for tear on my chin and one for people. You know, a lot of people always just do like one single picture for, for a picture sleeve for a 45. So I think this is pretty cool. Another awesome thing is the actual vinyl itself. So, like I said, these ones are in a color version. Look at this. Here we have this beautiful, like translucent marble pink vinyl, man. Ron, congratulations, man. Congratulations, Ron Akins, on having this. Like, like, look at this. Like, this is just beautiful. Like, what a beautiful, beautiful 45. I cannot wait for the LP to come out. I will be the first one out there shouting about this record when that LP comes out and drops. But man, I am so 
very excited that this is out and I'm so, so grateful to own this. And I want one of you to own this as well. So I have a second copy of this and we're gonna figure out a way here to give that out to you guys. So definitely subscribe to the channel and definitely like this video and comment and definitely watch the Ron and the Hip Tones documentary that I put out there too. I'll put links to it here and in the description below so that you can understand the full story and the full scope of the amazingness that is Ron and the Hip Tones. But I am so excited for this record here. It was really awesome. Ron and the Hip Tones just had a show on XPN, which I think is broadcast online. I think you can go listen to that live show. I was there and it was a fantastic show, but at the show, I got to see Max kind of like talking with some of the guys from Sigma Studios, who are the people that still own the Sigma Sound Studios in Philadelphia. I think he was actually going to lunch with them that day, but he was handing them out the records and it was just so great to watch those guys be excited about this product as well and just be excited that a record got produced, man. And everybody that was in the studio when this thing was getting made was really, really, really into this project. From the string players to Ursula Rucker to like even the kids and the extra backing vocalists that are on People, everybody was so excited to get this record to be made and to support Ron through this whole thing and to know that we're going to walk away with an actual 45 and, and an actual soul record from Philadelphia in the year 2024, which is just absolutely amazing. Max totally hooked me up with this not for resale edition. White label promo of Tear On My Chin. I mean, this is like the promo promo. They actually have a white label promo on the Bandcamp. Again, links for all this stuff is gonna be in the description below. They have a white label promo that's on their Bandcamp that again is limited to 200 copies as well. So go out and get that right now. Go out and get either one of these. Also go and check out the Thompsons, which is still out there on LP if you wanna try and find that or go and try and find any of the other stuff that Brewery Town Records has. Support local music, man, support new music. This is new soul music in the year 2024 from a new artist. So we gotta support this, right? I mean, this is where the vinyl community comes in. I get a lot of people talking all the time about, oh, this is just another reissue, this is just another reissue. This is not just another reissue, this is new music. And they took the time, man. They had a lot of people and a lot of care, a great producer, a great engineer. They had great string players. You know, people from all over the city of Philadelphia were part of making this record. So I really want you to support this and I can't say enough about this. I'm gonna stop gushing now. I really hope that you enjoyed a little bit of United Image meeting up with Ron, and I really hope you take the time to watch the full story of Ron and the Hip Tones, and I will have more about these guys in the future, so definitely subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of that. I am so glad to say this. I'm gonna go listen to Ron and the Hip Tones on vinyl. I will see you guys on the next one.